you're thinking about moving to Tennessee and there are 10 things that nobody tells you about moving out here that I'm going to tell you right now. These secrets, in other words, are the things that you should probably know before you move out. But why should you listen to anything I say, right? I grew up out here. I also went to school out here and I ventured out and came back. So the first one is affordability with a catch because what happens is, is even though Tennessee is about 9% less in the cost of living to live here, the affordability of the healthcare is a little bit higher to live here. For some reason, healthcare hospital systems are a little bit more expensive out here. But you can also just hop over the border here if you live in Chattanooga and reduce your costs a little bit because the sales tax over there is just a little bit lower. And that's why I, I guess Costco is over the border there. You can get your wholesale items there. Chattanooga is also kind of a small town feel with big perks because you can go to Atlanta down here and you can go all the way up to Nashville, which is two hours away and two hours away, or you go up to Knoxville, which is another two hours away, and you have other big cities that surround you. But Chattanooga is kind of like a, a spread out country area. That's what the country feel is. It has more of a family oriented and outdoorsy type feel to it. So that's something that's really neat about Chattanooga is you don't get, although you don't get the big perks of being in a big city, you do get some of the perks of having big cities around you, which uh, I don't know why you would want the big city around here when you have all this. And the median sales price of the houses are about $300,000, depending on where you are in the city. But how do I know so much about this? Well, I'm a real estate agent and I'm willing to help you come out here. If you would give me a call on the screen, you'll see my number and I'll help you day or night, no matter when you're carving. If you're coming in the last minute or if you're coming six months from now, give me a call, shoot me an email or send me a text and I'll help you out. Which brings us to number three, Chattanooga's outdoor feel, which we were just talking about. And when you do get out here, you'll see the amazing outdoor landscape that we have that you're just going to die for. What What is really interesting about Chattanooga is it's rolling hills and how you can find a house on a hill with no problem. In fact, we got these little ripples since the land was kind of squished together at one point and uh, it caused a lot of scenic views. And so you get a lot of hikes, you get a lot of scenic views, you get the river access, you get the river walk in the city, you get a, a neat Coolidge Park area downtown and many, many, many waterfall hikes because Tennessee is known for having all their waterfalls. So you don't just get to walk around and get your exercise, but you actually have a destination hike to go to. It's a big outdoorsy thing to do because we're right between the Appalachian Mountain and the Cumberland Mountains. And so those uh, hills that uh, you see around us are, are a big part of what Chattanooga calls a beautiful area to live in. Speaking of that waterfall wonderland, you have things like Fall Creek Falls, Luna Lake Falls, the Ruby Falls, which is actually a falls inside of a, uh, a cave, popular destination that a lot of people go to on the weekends and uh, other peaceful escapes that you can go to in nature around the area. But it's, it's a beautiful place. That does come with a little bit of a caveat, though, because if you have a beautiful place, you're going to have tourism. And people like that, and some people don't. If you live up in, the, in the, the mountain areas where all the touristy stuff is, then you're going to have a lot of traffic getting back down to your work in Chattanooga if you, if you work down there. So that's something you got to consider when you're moving out here. And I can show you those places if you give me a call. The next secret that most people don't talk about is the fast internet. You'd think that if you're in a rural area, you wouldn't have fast internet access, but actually you get 25 gigabit out here. That's ridiculously fast. Do you think that most Comcast and cable and stuff, they get 100 megabits per second? You really only use about one or two or five megabits when you're actually using the computer. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a former IT guy, so I know. But you get 25 gigabits out here, and that's plenty speed. Fiber access, that means you're using light to get to your home, the internet. And so they, they how do they do that in such a rural area? Well, the electric company is servicing all of Chattanooga's internet. And they're one of the biggest providers out here, and they have a ridiculously fast internet for really cheap, too. And so they have a, a general area where they cover, and you have to be within the area, but that area covers more than just the metro area of Chattanooga. It covers a lot of the rural area as well, too. And I can show you that map, even if they don't show it on their website. I have access to at least an older version of it, and it shows you some significant places you can still get internet and being a long ways away from any modern conveniences. And although Tennessee is country, we also have an artsy feel to ourselves, too. Not that we go hugging trees or anything, but we have significant amount of art in this district. One of the biggest districts is the Art Center in downtown, the Art District, and it has the Hunter Museum of Art, where a lot of people go to display their uh, different findings, their different stuff. It's kind of like a little hidden away area where you have a Rembrandt's coffee shop and a bunch of different places where you can walk to. 
and uh, it's one of the places that you have to see when you come here. Another thing you got to know about Tennessee is that we have Four Seasons. Four Seasons is what you want if you want to experience all of nature. You don't want to put it down in the equator. You don't want to put it up in the north, but you want to have a little bit of snow, just a dusting to make it look beautiful, a white Christmas or so, and, and just enough summer to go to the pool once or twice and then say, ah, that was good, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm back. And then you got these beautiful springs that last forever and these awesome fall that have these trees that um, turn from yellow to orange to dark, deep reds. And I wish I could show you some of these things around here. They're just beautiful. And the reason is, is because it's not a cold snap. What happens is you have all this uh, weather that builds up and kind of runs around and it mixes in in Tennessee here and it makes it slowly change to colder and colder and colder or hotter and hotter and hotter. So you get these long springs and long falls, which makes them very beautiful, which makes Tennessee and especially Chattanooga, which it has a very big community feel to it, a festival city. Because you got these long springs and long falls, uh, the people want to enjoy each other's company. And so the one thing that uh, you enjoy about the culture out here is the festivals. So we got different festivals like the Riverbend Music Festival or the Moon River Festival or the Tennessee Whiskey Festival or the Ch Chattanooga Market held every Sunday from April to December. It brings together arts, crafts, fresh produce, making it a truly a community feel to Chattanooga. And before I reveal some of the most interesting stuff I think I find in Chattanooga, I gotta tell you the Chattanooga Choo Choo is a pretty neat thing. All the historical sites that I've been to in Chattanooga, including the Civil War sites, the, just look how Mountain itself as a, a big war zone, how they fought going up um, Lookout Mountain. You know, if you go around some of these historical sites, they got big cannons still, they tell the story of, of what happened here. Really neat stuff. If you're a history buff, this is kind of a place for you. You got to come at least check this out and look me up when you come because I learn something every time I come out here. And number 10, the most interesting thing that I think is, is worth coming out to Tennessee for is the food connection. If you're a foodie, my goodness, there's all types of food out here. We don't just have Southern dishes, although we do cater more to the Southern dishes. We have a very unique selection of different things you can eat out here we downtown chattanooga has this district that just has just food in it it's the moon pie legacy the uh, unique food connection the moon pie was born right here in chattanooga not only was the moon pie born here it was also the little debbie capital of the world what is a little debbie well it's a little debbie snack cakes or mckee foods makes these little tiny snack cakes like the the Nutty Bar, or those things are, are iconic in stores. You see them on the end caps of most uh, grocery stores. And it all comes right out of Chattanooga. So if you want something like that and want to do a tour of, of one of these uh, factories, they do it all the time. I think we actually hold some kind of uh, world record for bringing in the most sugar on a train or something like that, too, for all these different food areas. We also have Coca-Cola factories near here. And it's just Oh yeah, and the Mars, you know, M&Ms and all this other stuff that's made by uh, Mars bars, they all make their food out here too. So it's, it's a candy capital of, of the uh, state. There's something too, Tennessee and sugar, that's for sure. So Chattanooga has something for everyone. If you're a local foodie, if you're, if you're looking for a beautiful spot, if you just wanted to get away from the snow or get away from the heat, Chattanooga is your place to be. I'm a real estate agent. I'm going to help you do that. So make, make sure you give me a call, shoot me a text, or take my move survey and we'll see you around town.